hey, sports fans, have you ever watched a, a college game, a pro game, and listened to the analysts and wondered how do they know so much about so many things? How do they get that information so fast? Well, think 4G. Now, don't get me wrong. Sports analysts like ESPN's Will Purdue know their stuff. I mean, Purdue has won three world championship rings as the seven foot one inch center for the Chicago Bulls. Now retired and in great demand as a basketball analyst, he admits that technology and his smartphone help give him quite the edge. Oh, you'd be surprised whether it's NBC, ESPN, CBS. Um, we actually had this conversation. I was just out in Maui doing the EA Sports Maui Classic for ESPN Radio. And during timeouts, you look over, you see the TV guys, the radio guys, everybody's grabbing their phone during the timeouts to try to pick up information, whether it's to uh, respond to a family member's text, whether it's to uh, pick up some stats that may not necessarily be on the board in front of you. Um, occasionally, even when we're at these events, these uh, stat monitors go down and they have glitches. So you immediately uh, go to your phone and uh, try to pick up stats as you go to you know, particular websites. So it's, it's always great to have a backup, but it's just amazing now. You always think about how do we even uh, exist without you know, PDAs, these special kinds of devices that help us do our jobs. You know, it, it's, as we've done numerous remotes also, we use the internet at, the, at each location, whether it, you know, it's a restaurant, whether it's a sports bar, whatever it may be. More times than not, we've had some complications with their internet. So um, instead of using a landline, we use the internet. And so we'll use that 4G speed from Verizon, which uh, reduces the delay that you have from the location back to the actual station of when we're actually doing the show and trying to listen to a caller. Indeed, on the day we visited him at the ESPN radio studio in Louisville, Verizon's 4G saved the day for the whole station. We were actually using uh, one of Verizon's hotspots and their 4G internet to actually do our show at the present moment because occasionally the internet goes down and we have some complications with it, so we use it. Purdue does a lot of traveling, especially back to Chicago for the Bulls games he now covers for ESPN. He has some favorite apps that help him get from point A to point B. I'm a guy that's, uh, unlike some, I travel public transportation a lot. So uh, the 4G speed helps with numerous applications, like I have the Uber application on my phone. And that's kind of like the taxi service in major cities. I use it in Chicago a lot. So I hit the Uber app and my ability to uh, be in locations to where some other people may have trouble getting a, a signal. I get a signal so I know that a cab's coming to get me in 12 minutes at a certain location. When I'm in Chicago a lot, uh, whether I take the orange line in from Midway or uh, I'm taking the red line to or from, uh, Wrigley Field or uh, uh, used to be Kaminsky U.S. Cellular Park, you're underground a lot. And I know a lot of other carriers do not get signals down there. But yet I, with Verizon, can continue to text, read my emails, in this case, continue to get work done or talk on the phone if necessary because I'm usually meeting somewhere, somebody at a different stop. And then that way I can tell them the location where we meet when we get off the train before we go to the sporting event. So there's another example of how 4G technology, the Verizon network, is making it easier to stay connected with those we love and uh, on the job to help us work smarter and faster. Thanks, Will Purdue. On the road for Verizon in Louisville, Kentucky, I'm Mike Wendland. Thanks for watching.